All right, so forgive me for the air conditioner, but uh, one thing I had not seen discussed a lot was how to take your trailer or how to take your tiny house off of the jacks. So it's actually pretty easy to take them off the jacks. Um, and the reason I did this was because, you know, I purchased this trailer and uh, call me paranoid, but I wanted to make sure before I do much more work that the frame and on the trailer and the frame of the house would actually all hold, hold up. Didn't really want to get much further and then all of a sudden find out that uh, whenever I took it off of there, it was going to bow on the back. Because whenever I first got it, you could see that there was a slight bow because it's such a long trailer. So all you do really is uh, it's pretty simple to take a trailer, to take a tiny house trailer off of uh, the jacks. First, you make sure that your pin is in up here. There's a little pin right there. Uh, you should see that right there. Make sure that's in at its highest level <clears throat> um, or actually well it would probably be easier to be honest if it was at uh, that second level right down there um, but you then just crank this down and you're gonna crank it this way and so it or first I'm sorry first thing you're gonna do is you're going to uh, want to get these front jacks off and to do that you actually have to lift it up a little bit so you have to lift this front bit up a little bit and so you're gonna be cranking it this way and it'll lift it up just a tiny bit and then when you do so just note, make sure to write down um, your jack positions uh, so that way you remember where they're at and you also remember the uh, how high they were. So there's notches in these, so I just wrote down what notch each one was at. And then once you have the front ones removed, and you can see now that this front part is very, very low to the ground. And that's because I've jacked it, I've actually lowered it by turning it around this way, by turning it counterclockwise. And when you turn it counterclockwise, it lifts this back off and so you can see now at this back section that's lifted up and make sure before you do this of course that your front end you know that your front end is much heavier than your back end and it should be because you have your this is your pivot point right here and there's more there should be more stuff up here but of course if you have a ton of crap back here in your tiny house that could change your pivot point or that not your pivot point but that could change your weight distribution so the pivot point is right here and I have, you know, dormers up here, and then of course I also have my loft up here. I have more stuff back here, plus I have just physically more material this way, uh, so I'm good to go. But that's how you do it, and then uh, jacking it back up is just the opposite of that. Um, you're going to first insert your jacks back here, uh, so that one there, the other one there, uh, with that lowered to the ground like that. And then I'm going to raise this back up, put those front jacks in, and then I'm going to release the pressure off of that by... Um, by actually completely uh, lifting that front part off the ground. And that's basically it.